With daylight saving ending this weekend, we will have an extra hour to look up and enjoy the night sky. Meteorologist Corey Smith goes over what you can expect to see this month. We've made it to another month, which means it's time once again to take a look at the night sky here across the Midlands. As we always do, let's start things off by taking a look at some of the pictures sent in by our nighttime weather watchers. We have two great images of the moon from last month, and a lot of you might want to view the moon this month. One week from Tuesday, we will see our last total lunar eclipse until the year 2025. The eclipse will take place in the morning hours of November 8th, with the moon turning red in the Earth's shadow in the western sky. When it comes to this eclipse, as long as we have clear conditions, the best viewing will be from 4 to 6 a.m. With the moon being low in the sky, it is best if you can get away from any surrounding trees that could block the view. On the day prior, November 7th, we actually have a really good view of the International Space Station as it flies over the Midlands. This long and bright path will be occurring in the morning hours, so make sure to take a look. Mars and the moon will be traveling in the sky around the 10th. You'll be able to spot Mars easily given its reddish orange glow in the night sky. November 14th, NASA will be attempting to launch the Artemis 1 rocket for the third time. This launch is planned for very late at night, so you might have to stay up late to watch the launch. Looking at the weather going forward, we do have some cloudy weather at the beginning and end of the seven day period, but the weather is looking fairly good for the night sky watching in between. If you get any pictures or videos or have any questions on what we talked about today, well, you can send those in on social media. We'd absolutely love to get in contact. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith.